All right, Megan, you are go to begin suit lead checks per procedure 4.011. Tommy, that didn't work. Up to the, to the big dot, uh, the big center there, that is the International Space Station. And again, Dragon is flying autonomously, so they are not manually flying Dragon. Um, that is not what they're using the display panels for. They are just using those displays to monitor uh, their progress. From this view, it's at the top of your view. That's where the international docking adapter is. You can sort of make it out now that the sun is illuminating the station itself. So that uh, approach maneuver was as long as we proceed through these steps uh, nominally, we should be able to see everything in an orbital daytime. Well, um, some visual cameras to, to align with the docking port so it's really important that we don't have that sunlight from the International Space Station. You can see what we were mentioning earlier where Dragon was below the station. Uh, you could see that previously when it had Earth in the background. Now it is almost adjacent. Uh the features of the space station coming into view very clearly. Yeah, you can see a lot of the detail there. And as you mentioned, the uh, Crew-1 Dragon. SpaceX copies, visors are down. We may enter into a hold at waypoint two. We are still awaiting ground go for final approach. Just checking and verifying all systems are go to proceed with docking. And when we do begin docking, there will... You can really start to see the detail on Dragon there as it is closing in on docking. That's right, two and a half meters, 30 seconds, no space station. Got this really awesome view of Dragon as it is connected to the port current. Docking, everything happened right on cue uh, and as expected. Uh, so it was a great to see Crew Dragon Endeavor dock to the International Space Station once again. We've enjoyed it from here in Mission Control Hawthorne.